Good day. Um, we are entering a new phase in science and scholarship locally and internationally, a phase of renaissance of intellectual freedom. It is a phase where quantities of research production is perhaps still necessary, but being true to humanity and the environment is more pressing these days. As such, it is an exciting phase. The terrain is littered with a call for the following. Genuine scholarship that connects with public good, original or exploratory research that advances humanity, ethical um, uh, scientific productivity that remembers that there are people and the environment in the experimentation and in ultimate use of science, engaged scholarship that acknowledges context and cognitive justice, and a good reflection of the relationship between society, industry, and science. I would like to say that it's a reflective phase where science is seen for what it is and what it is really is a player with power that must be scrutinized. And so what we really need currently is a versatile scientist that will actually shine in this phase for being able to respond to this kind of context. A silo thinker who thinks in the, in the old way of disciplines will not make it in this phase. I'm very proud to actually say that right now I'm going to be presenting this kind of versatile scientist um, through uh, presenting the Kwa Kwa Research Awards of 2022. This year we are particularly proud because there is also an occasional a award that the, that the principal only gives once in a while and it is called the lifetime achievement research award we are presenting our versatile scientists from four faculties of uh, Kwa Kwa, uh, campus at the university of the free state please enjoy our product as we present it to you thank you Dr. Mafugu joined the University of the Free State in 2019 as a lecturer. Before 2019, he worked as a science teacher at the KwaZulu-Natal Department of Education. He is in the Department of Mathematics, Science and Technology Education and holds a PhD and a Master's in Science Education from the University of Forte and the University of Zimbabwe respectively. His research is centered on science education and he is responsible for undergraduate and postgraduate students. He was enrolled on the University of the Free State's Teaching and Learning Engaged Scholarship Program in 2021. He has 16 single and co-authored articles published in Scopus Index Journals and conference proceedings between 2020 and 2022. In 2021, he was awarded for being among the top researchers in the Faculty of Education at the University of the Free State and has since been promoted to the position of Senior Lecturer from January 2023. Begitemba Dube holds a PhD in Curriculum Studies and is currently a Senior Lecturer at the University of the Free State. He has published more than 85 journal articles, book chapters, and edited a volume of curriculum, religion, and politics in Global South in the past three and a half years. He's a guest editor of the following journals, Alternation, Journal of Cultures and Values, and Journal of Curriculum Studies Research. He currently serves on editorial boards of various journals as well. He has received various excellence awards, such as Outstanding Service Award, Community and Excellence, in the field of community engagement in the category Engaged Research from the Vice-Rector of the University of the Free State in 2019, Most Prolific Researcher in the Faculty of Education in 2019 and 2020, and Recognition for Research Excellence Award of the University of the Free State in 2020. 
His research interests are in African studies, decoloniality, and rural education in post-colonial Africa. Devan Nzema obtained a PhD in sociology at the University of Forte in 2017. He is currently working at the University of the Free State as a lecturer and subject head in the Department of Sociology at the Kwakwa campus. Previously, he has worked at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and the Lupani State University in Zimbabwe. He has published research on the intersection of migration and development family dynamics and parenting, including the well-being of the elderly in resource-constrained countries. Recently, he has taken an interest in political sociology after realizing a need for more young people to participate in political debates in Africa. This has culminated in a forthcoming chapter in an edited book, chapter titled Exploring the Politics of Jakarism in Zimbabwe's Second Republic. In this chapter, the nature and methods of political contestations to wield political power in environments that are always in election mode are explored. Rodwell Makombe is an associate professor in the Department of English Literary and Cultural Studies at the University of the Free State, South Africa. He has previously worked at the University of Forte and Durban University of Technology. A rated researcher of the National Research Foundation of South Africa, Prof Makombe is a previous recipient of the African Humanities Program Fellowship, funded by the American Council of Learned Societies and currently is a visiting scholar at the University of Michigan's African Studies Center under the University of Michigan African Presidential Scholarship Program. His research focuses on post-colonial literary studies, cultures of resistance, and crisis literature. His most recent book, Cultural Texts of Resistance in Zimbabwe, Music, Memes, Media, examines counter-hegemonic narratives of resistance in post-2000 Zimbabwe. Currently, he is working on a new book project tentatively titled On the Post-Coloniality of the Everyday in Post-Mogabe Zimbabwe, Social Media, Comedy, and Dissent. Dr. Alexander was born here in the Free State and studied for all his degrees up to his PhD at the University of the Free State Bloemfontein campus, specializing in the field called crystallography. With this speciality, he supports his research niches which encapsulate energy-related projects, photoactivated materials, anti-cancer drug design, and metal beneficiation. Dr. Alexander was one of the only two South Africans who were invited to the third European crystallographic school in Baal, Croatia in 2017 as a PhD student, where he gained significant advanced experience in single crystal X-ray crystallography from distinguished senior international lecturers. He has played and still plays a crucial role in the setup and running of the crystallographic lab after the research group was successful in obtaining a significant grant from the NRF UFS for the purchase of a state-of-the-art X-ray diffractometer system worth 12 million rand. There is still a big room for improvement in his research journey and he is very hopeful for the future. Dr. Patrick Otomo holds a PhD in zoology and currently serves as the subject head of the Department of Zoology and Entomology at the University of the Free State Kwakwa campus. He is also the leading PI in the Ecotoxicology Research Laboratory housed in the department Dr. Otomo's research focuses on the toxicological evaluation of known and potential environmental contaminants. His work has been presented at several local and international conferences and published in leading environmental journals. Since 2013, he serves on the editorial board of the Bulletin of Environmental Contamination and Toxicology. Martinez Dalport is a registered industrial psychologist and lecturer at the University of the Free State Kwakwa campus. He finished his Master's of Commerce degree before moving into the business sector as an intern industrial psychologist. 
After successfully passing his board exam, he became a consulting psychologist specializing in organizational development and psychometric assessment. He eventually moved into the academic sector due to the thirst of knowledge and passion for developing others. Often having to wear two hats, one as a lecturer and one as an industrial psychologist, his research interests are in psychological resources that enable human potential. He has published articles on student engagement and the important role of emotional intelligence in student success. He is currently busy with his PhD on the role of technology in shaping the work-life interface with a specific emphasis on individual boundary management behaviors. As a scholar and researcher, he specializes in explanatory research and structural equation modeling. Shingarai Chamisa is an industrial psychologist and a lecturer in the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences at the Kotkwa campus. Her research interests fall within three themes, positive psychology more generally, and in terms of employee and educational coping strategy and wellness, inequality, diversity and inclusion, human capital development and transformation. Shingarai is a recipient of the Knowledge, Interchange and Collaboration of Grant 2022 from the National Research Foundation. She is currently supervising postgraduate students at the University of the Free State and is an external examiner both locally and internationally. Shingarai has collaboratively published articles in peer-reviewed journals and attended several conferences, trainings and workshops. She sits on the EMS Faculty Examination Board. It gives me great pleasure to award this Lifetime Achievement Award to Professor Peter Taylor. This is a special award that is given to special people. It's not an annual award. So you really have to be on top of your game and you need to have contributed magnificently and outstandingly to achieve this Campus Principals Award. I will read excerpts from Professor Taylor's citation for this Lifetime Achievement Award. It is a long citation, almost a mini essay. So I will highlight only those areas to testify and give testament to why Professor Peter Taylor so deserves the Special Lifetime Achievement Award. <music> Professor Peter John Taylor was born in Zimbabwe in 1963, and he is a South African by naturalization. He graduated from the University of Cape Town in 1984 with a Bachelor of Science Honours in Zoology and was awarded his PhD at the University of Natal in 1991. He was curator of mammals at the Durban Natural Science Museum for 21 years. In 2010, he began a 10 year highly productive term at the University of Venda, starting as associate professor and attaining full professorship in 2011. His time at the University of Venda included being a Tier 1 DSI NRF Sachi Chair for seven years. Thereafter, he moved to the University of the Free State on the Kwakwa campus. Since 2021, he has been a full professor at the University of the Free State in the Department of Zoology and Entomology and professor in residence in the Afro-Montane Research Unit, which is based at the Kwakwa campus. <music> professor Taylor's work has focused on the systematics, genetic relationships, and ecology of rodents, shrews, bats, particularly associated with Afro-Montane regions of Africa. His research incorporates applied aspects particularly biodiversity conservation, 
ecosystem services of bats in agricultural systems, the integrated pest management of rodents, and ecological niche models to predict the impacts of climate change on small mammals. Professor Taylor has undertaken field research across Southern Africa and beyond, including Angola, Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Madagascar, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. His research on small African mammals includes co-authored, published descriptions of 17 new species, including 12 bats, one shrew, and four rodents. Professor Taylor is co-author on three major regional texts. Professor Taylor's public service includes the Bat Interest Group of KwaZulu Natal, known as Bats KZN, co-founded by him in 1994 to enhance research, conservation, and public awareness of South African bats. <music> Professor Taylor is the highest NRF-rated researcher at the Kwakwa campus, attaining a B2 in 2022 as an internationally acclaimed researcher. <music> Professor Taylor is a member of the prestigious Academy of Science of South Africa and is a fellow of the Linnean Society of London. He is honorary life member of the KwaZulu Natal Bed Interest Group, a research fellow of the National Geographic Okavango Wilderness Project. He has been president of the Zoological Society of Southern Africa. He was a council member of the Southern African Society of Systematic Biology and was on the board of directors of both the International Federation of Mammalogists of the Bembe Biosphere Reserve. Since joining the University of Free State as part of the ARU team, Professor Taylor has founded the Mountain Bat Lab. The lab is doing bat research and conservation work among deciduous fruit growers in the Eastern Free State and in schools in Kwakwa. His work since 2021 has resulted in the discovery of one new bat species. He is leading two highly valuable ARU initiatives. Professor Taylor and his wife Frances are both deeply invested in the lives of young people. We congratulate Professor Taylor on this well-deserved award and know that there are still many happy days of research ahead for him. Born in Zimbabwe in 1963 and educated at the University of Cape Town and UKZN, Peter John Taylor is a research professor in the Department of Zoology and Entomology and the Afromontane Research Unit at the University of the Free State. He was formerly employed at the Durban Natural Science Museum and the University of Venda and led a South African Research Shares Initiative on Biodiversity from 2013 to 2020. A National Research Fund B2 rated scientist, fellow of the Linnean Society and member of the Academy of Science of South Africa, he is a zoologist specializing in the systematics, ecology and conservation of small mammals like bats and rodents. He has described 17 new species of small mammal and co-authored five scientific books and 200 peer-reviewed articles. Following his passion for bat conservation, his groundbreaking and widely cited research together with his students has demonstrated the high economic value of bats through suppression of macadamia pest insects. <music>